Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Retro City TV. Quantum computers are machines that use property of quantum physics to store data and perform computations. This can be extremely advantageous for certain tasks where they could vastly outperform even the best of supercomputers. Classical computers, which include smartphones and laptops, encode information in binary bits that can either be zeros or ones. A quantum computer uses quantum bits, known as qubits, which can exist in both states simultaneously, as well as many other states in between. So, in a way, it's a different type of computing rather than advancement of current technologies. They won't wipe out conventional computers though, using classical machine will still be easiest and most economical solution for tackling most problems. But quantum computers promise to power exciting advances in various fields. Molecular modeling is precision modeling of molecular interactions, finding the optimum configurations for chemical reactions. Google has made advancement in this field by simulating energy of hydrogen molecules. The implication of this is more efficient products from solar panels to pharmaceutical trucks. As Boston Consulting Group noted, merely modeling a penicillin molecule would require an impossibly large classical computer and it will take thousands of years to do complete. For quantum computers though, the same process can be completed in snap of fingers and could lead to discovery of new drugs for serious illnesses like cancer, Alzheimer's, and heart disease. Quantum computing can also help in efficient fertilizer production since fertilizer accounts for 2% of global energy usage. The savings for energy and environment would be profound. Most online security currently depends on difficulty of factoring large numbers into primes. While this can presently be accomplished by using digital computers to search through every possible factor, it can take up to thousands of years to crack a difficult code, makes cracking the code expensive and impractical. Quantum computers can perform such factoring exponentially more efficiently than digital computers. We are talking minutes instead of thousands of years meaning such security methods will soon become obsolete. There are also promising quantum encryption methods being developed using the one-way nature of quantum entanglement. As these quantum encryption methods are based on simple laws of physics, they are quite unbreakable, which will inevitably lead to better security across all electronic devices we use. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are some of the most prominent areas right now as the emerging technologies have penetrated almost every aspect of human lives. Some of the widespread applications we see every day are in voice, image and handwriting recognition. However, as the number of applications increased, it becomes challenging task for traditional computers to match up the accuracy and speed. And that's where quantum computing can help pain, processing through complex problems in very less time, which would have taken traditional computers an immense and impractical amount of time to complete. Quantum computing on AI might mean virtual assistants that understand you first time, every time from that time on without failure, or non-player controlled video game characters that behave hyper-realistically. The potential advancements are numerous, even in the field of self-driving. One possible explanation of why quantum computers work involves parallel universes. It has been theorized that qubits are able to exist with two states simultaneously because we are absorbing them in multiple universes simultaneously. At quantum level, science fiction appears to become reality. Particles can travel backwards or forwards in time and can also teleport between two positions. It is a well-known phenomenon known as quantum tunneling. For now, 
quantum computers are highly sensitive to heat, electromagnetic fields, and collisions with air molecules. These factors can cause quantum bits to lose its quantum properties. This process, known as quantum decoherence, causes the system to crash and it happens more quickly the more particles that are involved. There are few different ways to create a qubit. One method uses superconductivity to create and maintain quantum state. To work with these superconducting qubits for extended period of time, they must be kept very cold. Any heat in the system can induce error. This is why quantum computers operate at temperatures close to absolute zero, that is, colder than the vacuum of space. Quantum computers are still very much in research and in hands of researchers right now. But this does not mean quantum computers will take as much time as classical computers to evolve. As we already have access to high-end classical computers to develop quantum computers. As for primary applications, we should expect to see this generation of computers become commercially available. These applications are just taste of what is yet to come with the revolution of quantum era. So this is it for today guys, a like and subscribe to this video would be super. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.